The Darlington County's school district's COVID-19 dashboard shows 71 students and staff members have tested positive just since August 7th. Nikki Green and Justin Howell you see here say their three children all have COVID-19. They say they know district leaders are doing their best to keep the virus from spreading, but they still have questions about how often schools are really being deep cleaned. How do they have enough time after school to clean them? And are they cleaning them right, the right way? District administrators tell us the custodial staff cleans high school, high touch surfaces and objects within schools and buses daily. They say crews also disinfect the buildings twice a week. District leaders are updating filters to increase outdoor air delivery to schools and improve air quality. This recommendation is for those 18 and older who got the Pfizer or Moderna vaccine and Johnson and Johnson is coming. But for now, they say you should get a third booster dose eight months after you got your second dose. Regardless of the variant involved, the antibody levels <laughs> against those variants decline over time. The president's medical advisor, CDC, and Surgeon General sharing studies that show about six months after your second COVID-19 dose, your chances of catching the virus increase. After that, the vaccine wanes even further. We are concerned that this pattern of decline we are seeing will continue in the months ahead, which could lead to reduced protection against severe disease hospitalization and death. The CDC says it's already happening to some of the first people who got the vaccine overseas. Reports from our international colleagues, including Israel, suggest increased risk of severe disease amongst those vaccinated early. In hopes of preventing that from happening here, leaders say the booster recommendation is coming now. In the U.S. right now, the vaccine is still successful at keeping an overwhelming number of people out of the hospital. This is just a proactive step. And finally, a boost to mRNA immunization increases antibody titers by at least tenfold and likely much more. In South Carolina, the state's epidemiologist says she saw the data and is waiting for the FDA's review. Obviously, since this announcement was just made, DHEC will wait for specific guidance to be made available. Until that happens, she reminds us that boosters are common, like in the tetanus shot or whooping cough. Now, if you got the Johnson & Johnson vaccine, leaders say they expect you'll need a booster too. Now, that vaccine came out a little later, so they're waiting for the data right now. They anticipate a booster plan in the coming weeks. A Robinson County man is home after spending 120 days in the hospital fighting coronavirus. 37-year-old Kendrick Hunt went into the hospital in April. He came home today. His fiance says he still has a long way to go. He'll have to have speech therapy and do physical therapy as well. She says doctors, though, took great care of him. It's been really stressful just having to go back and forth and us having a newborn. But when we're there, it's really good because we see like every day how he keeps progressing more and more. Well, Hunt's mother says doctors told her he would not make it. She says they're a family of faith, and that's why he's home today.